I'm Martha London, Chair of the OFS Student Panel. I'd like to share with you some exciting news about our Student Panel recruitment. As you may know, we invited applications to the Student Panel in June and we were absolutely blown away by the response. We received an incredible 890 applications, that's almost six times more than last year. And once again, these applications were of an exceptionally high standard, so this really was a very competitive process. We were delighted and really encouraged by the diversity of students who chose to apply to the student panel, many of whom come from groups which are often underrepresented and underheard in the higher education sector. We heard from applicants at all stages of the student journey, including those who are currently studying at GCSE level and in further education, alongside current students and recent graduates from a broad range of providers. In particular, we had a high proportion of applications from students from black and minority ethnic backgrounds, students with disabilities and mature students. Overall, the diversity of these applications is reflected in the new student panel membership. Before I welcome the new student panel members, I would like to say a huge thank you to our outgoing panellists, Ruth, Chad, Lizzie, Shakira, Alice, Sinead, Zara and Shraddha have been part of the student panel since it launched in 2018. Their voices have been integral in informing the OFS in key policy areas, but also in shaping the panel itself. It's been a real pleasure to work with all of you and I hope that you'll stay in touch and continue to be a part of the OFS's work. Looking ahead, I'm delighted that five of our panel members are returning for their second year. Rose, Georgia, Sabrina, Joshua and Samuel have made a fantastic contribution during their first year. I'm sure they will join me in welcoming the new panellists, but I also hope they'll share the benefit of their experience of being on the panel over the previous year. This year, we have appointed 10 new panel members, each of whom was an outstanding candidate in an exceptionally strong field. This means we are now a 16 strong panel, including myself, and the experiences and perspectives of the new panel members complements very well the existing expertise on the panel. Whilst it isn't possible to capture every single student experience in a panel of 16 people, I am confident that this year's panel reflects the diversity of the wider student population. Collectively, they will have a strong and inclusive voice, which is vital to ensuring that the needs of all students are reflected in the OFS's work over the challenging year ahead. I'm delighted that this year we are able to include two prospective higher education students in our panel, and will also be strengthened by the perspectives of students with experience in traveller communities, care experienced students, mature part-time and distance students, and students studying at small and specialist providers. Thank you to everybody who expressed an interest in being part of the panel. It was really inspiring to see the work being done by applicants at their providers and their local communities to enhance the student experience. And I really hope that you'll stay in touch. The student panel is an important part of the student engagement strategy, but it is just one way that we engage with students. If you'd like to keep up to date with the student panel, you can sign up for our Student Spotlight newsletter and this will also contain details of the latest opportunities to get involved in our work. All that remains to say is a huge congratulations to our 10 new panel members. I look forward to working with all of the panel over the coming year. I've seen from the applicants during the recruitment process that they are incredibly enthusiastic and passionate about the student experience and that they bring a wealth of expertise with them. So I look forward to seeing the many and varied ways that you influence, shape and challenge the work of the OFS over the coming year.